uh, COVID-19 definitely still on the hearts and minds of so many of us as we've left summer. Cases actually have been falling across the U.S. for weeks now. Deaths are declining as well. This is a great positive headline. We're joined right now by Dr. Nicole, uh, affiliated with Advocate Illinois Masonic Medical Center. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me. So this is... Um, this is like complicated, right? Because mm -hmm. we're seeing all this positive news. Yes. The Delta variant uh, was a, and it still is a very huge concern, but we're not seeing as many hospitalizations and deaths. Mm -hmm. However, we're not out of the woods yet. Not quite out of the woods yet, but I, I'd like to look at history. So if we're looking at the 1918 pandemic, they actually had three waves too. So we're in our third wave. This is the third surge this or wave. This is the third surge or yeah. wave, exactly. And so we know that viruses only want to replicate themselves. So once they, once they hit a population where people have either been vaccinated or have been somehow immune, then the virus is going to start to die out. This is the same with Delta. Now, it's very important for us to understand that there could also be more variants out there because as the virus starts to mutate, it gets into a different population and it could change and become more virulent. However, it's very important for us to continue getting vaccinated, continue our distancing and continue masking. I think it seems like people are getting tired of hearing the same instructions over and over again. And it's like, OK, but when is it going to be over? And they're expecting the medical community and scientists to have big answers to this very novel virus that the world had never seen before. Uh, but there's something out about how it could affect menstruation in women. And, and that's causing a lot of women who want to have babies to have another pause about whether this vaccine is is safe enough. Can you break down the science there? Oh, this is something I've been addressing with my patients all the time. Okay. Have, so many of my patients are still afraid to get vaccinated. Yes. And I tell them, let's go with the science. We took all the smart people in the world and within months, so the pandemic was declared in March of 2020, December, we had a vaccine. And this vaccine has been studied and vetted. And according to the American College of OBGYNs and the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine, there is no data to date that exists that can affect fertility. Now, I've had some anecdotal evidence, just a few of my patients coming in that said that their period may have been early or late or may have changed somehow. But I tell them this, if you, your period is early or late, guess what? Generally, after a couple cycles, it goes back to normal. Okay. And guess what? COVID can kill you. Having a late period can't. Well, there you go. Well, that's the bottom line. Uh, one more question for you about kids. The New York Times had an article out that says globally, in other countries, they're seeing that some parents are having their kids get one shot instead of two doses of the vaccine, and that it's actually reducing uh, the chance for very rare side effects among some children. Yes. This is maybe good news for parents if they wanted to try to make the right decision since Pfizer is coming out with their children's vaccine possibly very soon. Yes, I'm really excited that we have a vaccine for kids because we know that each one person, usually according to the WHO, can spread the virus to about three people. So if the vaccine is circulating amongst children, then we're not gonna be able to get out of it until we can get as many people vaccinated as possible. So when we look at these side effects, I wanna to explain to everybody that the side effects are still actually quite rare. So it's really important because we all have to operate and work together to end the pandemic. Nicole Williams, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Dr. Nicole Williams. All right, we appreciate it.